Hello, Orenberger Owls. How are we doing? Welcome back to the 2020-2021 school year, unlike any other. I'm here, Mr. Chanowski, the assistant principal. I have Mr. Patterson with me. Uh, we're here to welcome you guys back and show you a little video about what things are going to look like here at the school when you guys come back uh, to the Orenberger. So we have a few things set up that are a little different from probably how you remember seeing it. We just want to walk you through and show you. So welcome back and we're going to take a look at how we're going to come into the building from the buses and get in and get breakfast and lunch and walk around and all that. So happy to have you guys. Can't wait to see you back here soon. All right. Keep up the good work. Okay. So most kids, if you're taking a bus to the Orenberger to come to school, when you come back, this is where we're going to be arriving with the buses. Uh, this year, it's a little different. We're only going to let one bus unload at a time. So it's going to pull up to this spot here and we're going to hold the other buses until each bus dismisses its students. So there'll be a staff member here at the sidewalk. And basically when you come off your bus, you're going to come off one at a time. The staff member is going to do a, like a three count and you're going to come off the bus and we're going to stay socially distant. We'll have some markers here so you can see. And so when the first person arrives at this cone, the next person can come off. And as you make your way up to each cone, another student will come off and we'll stay nice and safe and socially distant all the way up to the front door. All right, so after you distance, walk up the driveway, up the walkway with the cones, you'll get to the front door. There'll be a staff member here waiting for you, welcoming you in. And again, we'll be letting one student in at a time with proper spacing in between each student. And once you come in the front door, you'll be directed to either go to the cafeteria to pick up your breakfast or straight to your homeroom if you're not eating. You're gonna go in one of the two directions. We're gonna show you how we're marked off inside to keep everybody safe inside with the floor markers. So come on in, we'll check it out. Okay, so once you get into the main building and you're in the front doorway, you're gonna have the option of going to breakfast or go into your class. So if you decide you're gonna get breakfast when you come in, follow me, we're gonna go this way. Okay, so if you're going to be getting breakfast, we're going to do things a little different this year. We're actually, because of the situation going on with the virus, we're not going to be using the cafeteria for eating this year. So we're going to be transitioning to get our breakfast and lunch in the cafe, but we're going to take them back to our classrooms to eat. So in the morning when you arrive, if you're getting breakfast, you're going to come here. And as you can see, when you come in, you'll see we have floor markers. All right, to identify where it's safe to stand when you get in the cafeteria because we're only going to be letting one student at a time into the calf area to get their breakfast. So when you come in, we'll have you guys line up on the distance marker and slide up when you get in here. We'll have staff directing you once you come in so you know when it's time to move up and get your turn to get breakfast. Once you get your breakfast here, we're gonna be transitioning right out the cafeteria, okay, up the main, the middle aisle. And all students will be transitioning up the middle aisle and exiting the front doors as other students are coming in the back. After arrival, when you come in off your bus, if you come in through the main doors and come into the main hallway, if you're not gonna get breakfast, you're gonna take a right and you're gonna be following the arrow markers that are marked on the floors. If you're going to the second floor, sixth, seventh, or eighth grade, you're going to be walking and pulling the arrows up the right hand side of the stair. If you're in third, fourth, or fifth grade, you're going to pull all the arrow markers down the main hallway to your classroom. And you can see all the arrow markers are put six feet apart. And when we transition, we're going to have to keep safe space between each other and our peers and our classmates so we get safely down to the classrooms. Guys, so when we're in the building, as you can see, we're going to be transitioning up and down the hallways in one direction. Everything's marked and taped off with appropriate six foot space in between each arrow, and you can only go in one direction down the hallway and up the hallway. When you guys are using the restrooms, okay, as you can see, 
We have distance markers here outside the restroom. This year we're only going to be able to let two students in the restroom at a time, all right, to stay safe and to have not too many kids in the bathroom at one time. So the other kids that are waiting will be waiting on a distance marker outside the bathroom, six feet apart. When it is your turn to go into the restroom, you'll see we have, we're going to have a clipboard with a sign-up sheet, all right? And we're going to have a paper where you can put your name and time. You're going to write your name in. And if there's two names that are already on there, people are going to have to wait on the distance markers. If it's available, you're going to put your name and time. Go use the restroom. And when you come out, you're just going to cross your name off. And that tells us that you're already out and that you've, been, you've already been left, the, uh, you've left the bathroom space and the next person can step up and sign their name and head in. All right, so it's going to be a, just like every other day at school. You're inside a lot, and this year we have to wear masks when we're in the building. As you can see from the signage, and you can see by me, everybody in the building has to wear a mask all day in the building. But we want to give people an opportunity to take a mask break. So your teachers are going to pick a time in your schedule when they can pick a space outside. It could be the Armberger Garden area, the back recess yard or the front, where we can get you guys outside, keep you guys physically distant, and then we can take a little bit of a mass break outside, get some fresh air, get a break from wearing. Six feet apart. And then we'll head back inside after taking a little bit of a mass break and a movement break. And then we'll head back in. So after the day's over, we're gonna be doing dismissal just like every other year, except dismissal is gonna look a little bit different. We're not gonna be able to use the cafeteria as a holding area for buses this year uh, to keep people safe and socially distanced. So we're gonna be dismissing classes and buses from their home room. So at the end of the day, you'll be in the class with your cohort and we'll be making announcements from the main office about when a bus arrives and everybody from that bus will head out of their class down for dismissal time. Um, so we'll learn more about that when you guys come in and find out which buses you're gonna be on and when you're gonna be called for dismissal. But we're really excited to have a building ready for you. We've been working really hard to prepare it, to make it safe, to keep it safe. Now it's up to you to do your part when you come into the building. Make sure you're wearing your mask all day. Make sure you're following the directional arrows. Make sure you're staying physically distant as you're walking around the building, washing your hands after using the bathroom and following all those important protocols we talked about during the video. We're really excited to have you guys come back. We can't wait to see your faces. You've been doing a great job on Zoom. We hope you keep it up, and we can't wait to see you back here soon.